So last week I recorded a video for you, but I messed up because I didn't have the audio. So the beginning of the video actually doesn't have any audio, but the rest of the video does. I went for an operation later that week and I didn't actually realize until I came out of the operation when I came to editing the video that the whole beginning had no audio. Good one. Little spoiler, this is a bad boy. You're gonna wanna stick around to the end. Also as well guys, if you can, smash that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year. We're currently sitting at 667. So yeah, we're almost there guys. And if you can smash the like button, the 20 likes in this video will help it a lot. So let's try and get to that 1K subscriber by 2019. So let's look inside the box and see what's in the Google Home Max speaker. So when you open it, you straight away present it with the Google Home Max. It's got this nice kind of fabric mesh on the top of the speaker to cover it. It's really, really nice. It is quite weighty, to be honest with you. Inside, you're just gonna get your instructions, how to set up, and your power cable. So nice and easy unboxing, nothing too much inside, nice and simple, and well presented by Google. Hey Google, how many views have I got on YouTube? I'm not sure, but I can tell you the answer to a similar question. How much views on YouTube to make money? Would that help? Yes. On the website verticalsite.com, they say, advertisers only pay when someone clicks an ad or watches for 30 seconds. This is why you can't tie your channel views to dollars. If your video gets 10 million views but nobody watches or click the ads, you don't make any money. This is how I'm able to make $1 per 25 views. Yeah, so you lot better be clicking them ad boys, I need some money up in here. Hey Google, how far away is Sainsbury's? The closest Sainsbury's is at 30A Mulfords Hill, Tadley. It is 2.3 miles away by car. But as a speaker in general, let's have a little listen again to the sound quality, shall we? Alright, Oh Woman Oh Man by London Grammar. Playing on Spotify. I can see that you're giving up. Google, volume up. It should not mean that much to me. Okay, Google, volume up. Where the rest go. But everybody's been telling me. Okay, no. Google, max volume. But I'll always have a thing for you. And move the earth. But nothing made you. The sound quality of the speaker itself is amazing. The functionality of the speakers is amazing. Like I said earlier on, it's gonna set you back at 39999. It's so almost 400 pounds. Do you know what? This is a very, very cool speaker. The volume and the bass and the clarity of the speaker itself is amazing. And the fact that you can just like speak to it, you can have conversations with it, you can, it'll read you back information that you may not know whether cool people play the music. These kind of speakers are coming more and more popular as you may know, these AI kind of speakers. I think there's so much more the speaker can do that I haven't really pushed it through to do its test, but it can literally do a lot of things. Weather, places, directions, information, cool people text, videos, whatever you may need, this speaker has more or less got it. And later on, as the functionality improves, it says it even says it back to you that I do not know this command just yet. So later on, it will maybe know it as long as the information becomes available to it. 399, I think it is a, light, a little bit pricey, but these speakers, the, the build quality, the sound quality, and the functions you can get out of it, it's not like your ordinary speaker, so therefore the price is gonna be higher. I really, really, really like this speaker, and I mean, it just looks so nice. The, oh, that's me, sorry, that was me touching the sides. The speaker itself is really, really well built. The design is amazing, and I think it's gonna sit very nicely on this desk or around other places within the house. It will definitely sit in the environment. Obviously, as you saw there, the music when it was in Max, when I was trying to hey Google it again, I. I was physically shouting and it wasn't responding back to me. So you need to make sure that the volume output of the speaker is not as loud as what your voice can project to it because it does find it hard to pick up. But would I buy this speaker? Yeah, happily. There's no doubt I would go out there again. If you're looking at Sonos, ditch that, throw it away. If I had a choice between these and the Sonos, I would definitely be sticking with the Google Home Max. This is my boy. This thing is large, it's crisp, it's clean looking. And it comes with all the built-in functions. Why would you not want these? Hey Google, finish my YouTube video for me. Sorry, I can't find any Chromecasts or cast-enabled TVs linked to your account. You can add devices in the Google Home app. 
Make sure in the comment section below you comment anything that you would like to know about this in particular speaker. If there's anything that you'd like to know about any other technology, let me know also in the comment section below and I'll try and help out best I can. Make sure you smash that like button and that subscribe button, all of it helps. Like you said, you've got to watch them ads, they make the money, Google Home Max knows best. Google, tell me about my day. Hi, you've found the new good morning routine. Let's try it together. First, let's see what your day looks like. Currently in Pamba it's 23 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be mostly sunny, with a forecast high of 24 and a low of 17. Next, I'll play the news. 